Good morning, saints. I pray you're all doing well. I pray you're all safe. I pray the most I continues to bless you, guide you, protect you and your beautiful loved ones in your going out and your coming in. Amen. I know that today is July the 4th and my American subscribers are enjoying themselves, probably running a barbecue, getting the family over. But I just wanted to take this time to draw your attention to what is about to happen tomorrow with the CERN. I'm going to show a video right after this. And I want you all to really take this into consideration that while they are taking or, <laughs> oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow, I never saw this revelation until just now. You realize the day that they chose to turn on the CERN, July the 5th, because they know that most of you all today will be so distracted. And you have to be honest, so distracted, barbecuing, enjoying family time by tomorrow you know who doesn't have to work will be hungover or whatever the situation so you will not even be thinking about what is happening in your reality that is how these wicked evil people are but since i want us to come together on a fast i um mm, ho 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 all right the holy spirit told me not to give you a specific amount of time fast on your own initiative in terms of the amount of hours that you want to go and it will be tomorrow we'll be fasting tomorrow and i want us all to be praying all right watch the video stay blessed love you all bye bye on June 16, 2016, CERN, C-E-R-N, the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Geneva, started a project to accelerate charged particles. Ten days later, photographer Christophe Suarez posted a series of photographs of the skies above CERN. Those jaw-dropping photos showed the formation of strange clouds and were proof that the biggest experiment in the world is about to tear a portal into another universe open. Uh, what's going to happen next? Are we going to be destroyed or meet ourselves in another dimension? The strange clouds sparked a media frenzy regarding portals in the sky. Given that the LHC has found small black holes when smashing particles, which could suggest parallel universes and extra dimensions, what we previously saw could turn into a storm now that the CERN is even more powerful than before. Stephen Hawking, a renowned scientist, also warned us about the God Particle. He even bet Gordon Kane $100 that physicists couldn't discover the Higgs boson, but when they did, Hawking issued a stern warning. In his famous book, Starmus, the scientist claimed that the particle could one day be responsible for the destruction of the known universe. He wrote, The Higgs potential has the worrisome feature that it might become mega-stable at energies above 100 billion giga-electron volts. Here, the biggest concern about the destruction is the formation of small black holes that would expand and eventually decompose the world from within. Despite CERN scientists' assurances that these black holes would not destroy the universe, British astronomer Sir Martin Rees agrees with Hawking that they could open a Pandora's box, unleashing high-energy strange matter that is extremely unstable and causing a catastrophic vacuum decay that would cause time and space itself to collapse. Hawking warned that this could happen at any time, and we wouldn't see it CERN coming. does that big circle. It accelerates particles in that big circle, around and around and around and around until they're traveling at just enormous velocity, and then they collide these particles together. And in that moment, it creates a moment that they think is kind of how the Big Bang started the whole universe. That's the whole purpose behind it. However, they also believe that there are parallel realities around us, other dimensions and there could be other intelligence there however there's a reason god put them on the other side of that veil and you might not want to open the door their own director of cern has gave uh, uh interviews to the british press in which he admits that's what they're trying to do they want to open a door to another dimension and he said when we open this door he said something might come through it into our reality or he said we might send something through it into their reality you can look that up it's in the british press Thank you.